YouTube. If you are ever being rooted or ever being XDF forms, so you might have already heard about the ROM called Resurrection Remix. So in this video, I will show you a walkthrough of Resurrection Remix for the OnePlus 2 and this is the XDL link of that ROM. If I go to settings menu, about phone, you can find I'm using Resurrection OS 5.8.3 which is based on my Android version NoGut 7.1.2 with the Android security patch latest. So this is like a feature rich, uh, highly customizable ROM. Uh, if you look and you can find a lot of features that can be uh, customized and added to this ROM. And down below you can also find the installation files you can go ahead and download it from there so let's go ahead and check out the specific features of this rom so let's go to settings menu these are the regular settings and then down here you can see the rom specific customization like various customizations so you will be getting different customization option in different tabs so first of all let's go check out the status bar so this is the clock customization you can customize all the aspects of the clock styles and the notification area and then here you can if you want to add something enable log or something on the uh, status bar you can add that and then here is the custom log os if you want to create any custom log os on the left side you can check that and then here is the battery customization so if you want to change the style of the battery you can uh, do it from here if you want to see the battery percentage you can do that and here is the uh, battery charging percentage and then other customizations option for the battery even changing the color of the battery icon and battery indicators and then here's the system icons so if you want to add the bluetooth battery status in the notification bar you can do that so, so 4g or 3g instead of the h plus and the lte so roaming indicators and show data and other features you can estimate and then here's the notification ticker if you want to add any notification ticker you can go ahead and do it like a notification for music ticker so you can see the songs playing and the notification area so it is pretty good and then here's the weather template temperature you can see if you want go ahead and uh, turn on that one so it will show you the weather details network traffic if you want to see the network monitor on top you will be able to see that and even you can customize the different aspects of that and uh, status bar gesture like brightness control so if you swipe from the brightness it will be changing and system UI tuner so this is the status bar icons if you want which kind of icon to be there in the status bar and then breathing notification for the breathing SMS miss call and uh, voicemail status bar so next is in the panels so notification panel you can customize this headers tax manager if you want to see the tax manager on the expanded screenshot you can f find it here so this is the task manager you can kill all these background processes and then volume panel power dialog and other notification related customizers you can do and here is the reasons uh, menu this is the default reasons menu so it's called it general ui changes you can can change like uh, memory bar if you want to add you will be able to see it here and then a clear up button you can place anywhere you want recent styles if you want to change the recent style you can also change it from here hidden apps if you want to here hide any apps you can add it here and then person st recent type like if you want a grid recent type you can go ahead and do it so you'll be getting this kind of grid which is more like a MIUI interface and then if you want omni switch So this is the Omni switch. You can customize the uh, the features of that Omni switch from here. You will get you will be getting all kinds of customization from there. And then here's a slim type of uh, license menu. So you will be getting these kind of um, customizations here in this ROM. So which will be very good. And then quick settings like animations. If you want customize, you can do that. You pull down tile layout how many columns of uh, icons you want for the notification area you can go ahead and change it and then advanced you'll be getting the vibrate on touch advanced data tile and then other ways of customization for the systems so, and here is the lock screen so you will be getting lock screen gestures lock screen ui customizations and color customizations lock screen shortcuts if you want to add or customize you can go ahead and do it and then 
upper shortcuts weather options security and then in gestures you'll be getting gestures anywhere so you'll be able to uh, do this gesture from anywhere you can add all the uh, gestures here so which will be like pretty cool and an apple circle bar so this is also there you can customize and go ahead pie control all these settings are like you'll be getting a lot of customization options from here which is pretty good and going to the next feature that is buttons you can customize or turn on the on-screen button and customize it hardware keys customizations power menu and then you can uh, double press the power button to turn on the camera and other regular customizations that you can, you can do from there so that's all about the buttons and then animations you from here you can customize almost all the aspects or all kinds of customizations that you can do which is pretty cool and then interface change like font size and then display size you can change the dpi from here custom dpi if you want to add you can do it from here and then blur customizations expanded desktop fingerprint settings headset call ambient display dashboard and then down you have input options heads up display screenshot options if you want to uh, click uh, crop and share after taking the screenshot so you'll be able to do that do that so here you'll be getting the option to customize these screenshots misc in the misc options you'll be able to customize this sc linux switch options and then clock widget settings updates wake lock blocker alarm blocker suspend actions things like that even system app remover and in the last you will be able to see the about for page you will be able to go through the change logs and every um, social media links of that from resurrection remix so overall this is a fully backed and highly recommended OS. you can customize almost all the aspects of the rom so i'll definitely go ahead and, so i'll definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and try this one and then taking up the menu main menu you will be able to find this audio effects and then this one this is the magisk modular this is inbuilt comes with this uh, magic manager is come inbuilt comes with this rom so you don't need to flash it separately to get root access and everything so it is here which is pretty good so almost every thing you need for a rom is here in this one and uh, talking about the battery backup of this rom i'm getting around three and half hours of battery screen on time on this i will definitely recommend you to try uh, this one and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below thanks for watching please subscribe for more